皆さんこんにちは「新女神転生5ベンジェンススペシャルプログラムコンプリートガイドへ」There he is. Heaven's biggest troublemaker. 6月14日発売の本作は2021年に任天堂スイッチで発売した「新女神転生5」の世界観をベースに全世界マルチプラットフォームで発売するためあらゆる面でパワーアップさせた「新女神転生」シリーズの最新作です。本番組では新女神転生5ベンジェンスが持つ新要素をまとめてお届けしますぜひ最後までご覧ください最初に本作のストーリーを紹介します More story notes? 本作「新女神転生5ベンジェンス」は新たなルート「復讐の女神編」と前作の「5」で語られた「創世の女神編が一つになったタイトルですプレイヤーはゲーム開始直後にどちらのシナリオを遊ぶか選べます創世の女神編ではごく普通の学生だった主人公が近畿の存在ナホビの隣神なき地上に新たな世界を作る創世の戦いに身を投じることとなります対して復讐の女神編では新たに4体のジョマカディシュトゥが登場し謎の聖女ヨウコとの開口ナホビノの新たな姿など世界の運命は虐げられてきた蛇神たちの介入によって誰も見たことがない新たな展開を迎えていきますまた今作でパワーアップしたゲームシステムの一部は創世の女神編にも搭載それぞれは独立した物語となっていますので好きな順番でお楽しみください「新女神転生の主人的な要素の一つ悪魔」戦闘中に交渉し仲間にしたり悪魔合体を駆使して新たな悪魔を召喚したりと。シリーズおなじみの要素です今作は土井正幸による新規書き下ろし悪魔はもちろん過去の作品で登場していた懐かしい悪魔の追加もありその総勢は270体以上になりましたそんな悪魔に注目しこれまでにない悪魔を中心としたさまざまな遊びを用意しましたそれではご覧くださいマンシーマガツヒという特殊なエネルギーを貯めて話すマンシー Did, did, we, did we get a Nancy? 本作では特定の悪魔を揃えることで放てる特殊なマガツヒスキルが追加されましたスキル爆炎ブレスギリシャの魔獣たちによる強力な火炎攻撃により敵は一撃で壊滅いたしました複数悪魔によるマガツヒスキルは発動に特定の仲間を引き寄せていたのですどれも強力なものばかりです They gave the seraphim an attack どんなマガツヒスキルを発動できるのかいろいろ試しながらパーティーの編成をお考えください編成の楽しみはまだまだあります本作において悪魔は自動で発動するユニークスキルを一つ持っていますその効果は様々で組み合わせによってシナジーが起きることもありますでは実際にパーティーを組んでみましょう今回は火炎相性に関するユニークスキルを持つ3体の悪魔、oh, 霊長法王魔王モロン and Big Sir 魔王スルトを試してみましょう詳しい効果はこちらをご覧くださいこの状態で火炎スキルを放つと、yeah, シナジーのないパーティーと比べ上昇していることが見て取れます<笑>もちろん組み合わせは他にもあります
ユニークスキルによってはマガツヒスキルとのシナジーも何を倒すためにどんな仲間を用意するか好きな仲間を活躍させるためにどんな編成が考えられるか奥深さが増した仲間編成をぜひお楽しみください仲間たちの出番は戦いの場だけではありません新たに用意された悪魔の裏庭をご覧くださいここでは手持ちの仲間たちと会話が楽しめますその際ダートで手に入る貢ぎ物を渡すことでその仲間からの印象が高まりステータスが強化される特別な会話が発生します仲間の他にゲストキャラクターも滞在していますバトルやフィールドの探索などゲームの攻略に応じて特別な会話が発生することがありその際にはアイテムなどの見返りがもらえるかもしれませんまたこのベンチを調べると主人公の頼れる相棒青髪と会話することができます、nice、会話の中でナホビノの能力が高まるような特別な会話が発生することもあります Fuck, that's gonna be hard to pay attention to. Kaiwa o Tsuji, Samazama na Mikaili ga yoi sare. Kind of annoying to do. Koma me ni ashi o hakobi, sekyok te ki ni hanash kake te miru to yoi de shou. Sara ni koko dewa, free camera mode ga yoi sare te imas. Oki ni ili no nakama ya, tayore ru o tomo dachi o shashin ni osame te oki ma shou. SMTG pose, baby, let's go! It's Nandoki. どのような別れがあるか誰にも予想できないのですから以上「悪魔の裏庭」の紹介でした皆様もぜひお気に入りの仲間や人間たちと会話を楽しんでみてください神聖した「新女神天性5」の魅力は50 That's the air. レベルの限界突破 We knew that. バーチャルトレーナー、うん、ゲストキャラクター一種らのパーティー加入 You gotta beat him. 悪魔の裏にはエンカウント。悪魔会話のバリエーション。Who's that demon? 命乞いの調整。So demons are gonna beg for mercy more. Okay. 主人公のパラメータ振り直しアイテムの追加。You can respect. 二神前書合体の追加。We already had. New wards. I think that's the Kalpa. Oh, good, because those bitches were annoying. Improvement. 
Doesn't even really improve the dungeon itself, though. Hopefully they improve that. Good, because I cannot, I could not see that bitch whenever she went off to do something. For people who want a little bit more challenge, if you ever need it, great. That's pretty good that you can use the demons in some quests. I'm going to forget to turn that off. That's good. That's a good quality of life. Yeah, better sorting is good too. Okay. So Estom is not affected by the moon anymore. That's awesome. We already knew about that. Okay. Again, that's something they already announced, so. People are going to be so bitchy about this. Godborn. Godborn. I don't know if the two weeks I have with this is enough fucking time for me to do Godborn. It's not. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the two the two weeks I, I have for this, it's not. It's not. All right, let's let's go back and talk about a few things. Um <laughs> First off, the, uh, the, that right there has to be a non C. We know about this one right here, but besides Naho Biho, the other two, the other two I don't know about. But that right there has to be a Nazi. If I had to hazard a guess. This is the one besides the Kadish too. Yeah, that has to be a Nazi. Magatsuhi to you, 
本作では特定の悪魔を揃えることで放てる特殊な魔ガツヒスキルが追加されましたスキル爆炎ブレス So, this is one, this is, this is a skill that they've constantly shown in, in every other trailer and every other feature. <laughs> and, all, and all feline skill is pretty dope, though, too.、Uh, that was what,、um, that was what、um, Nakamata, Kashi, and Neko Shogun. That was dope. This is dope as shit, though. An attack with all the seraphim? This is dope as shit. Of course, they would have a pixie skill. Because why not? Yeah, I can't wait to see some of the unique skills for like the higher tier demons. Like the, the lower tier demons and mid tier demons, like. Um. The only demon who really, really had. Like, the only demon that you got halfway through SMT5 and had, like, a really, really. It wasn't even, like. It was her. It was a skill unique to her.、Um, but the only demon who had, like, anything really, really decent that you probably wanted to keep all the way through was a Doom. Yep, a Doom. Thank you. Everybody knows that. You, you probably. Like, I didn't do it, but a lot of people probably leveled her to 99 just because of her unique skill. Because it was that good. So maybe, I don't know, maybe if they, if they, a Dune's probably still in,、um, in canon of, of Vengeance, but I don't know if they nerfed her skill. <laughs> because if we, have, if we have unique skills, then they probably nerfed her skill a little bit because it was fucking broken. It was fucking broken, especially mid game. Yeah, and I agree. You, like, I kind of I switched her out for Cleo because Cleo was the better option. I mean, basically, like, they were pretty much, you know, they were pretty much vice versa. Like, Cleo was, Cleo was the debuff that I just put Luster Candy on anyway. And then a Dune was just a heal with Luster Candy. That's all it was. Yeah. It, it was Medea Ram plus Luster Candy was broken.、And、plus, you, if, you, if you put anything else on her, like, The heal was stronger. You can make the heal stronger. You could really turn that heal into Medea Rahan if you really wanted to, which some people did. Hang on, Moloch and Sark. Yeah, I wanted to read more about these. Um, these, these fire abilities, too. Fire melody. While active, all allies will deal increased fire damage when striking enemies with a weakness to fire. That's big. While active, all allies have a chance to hit a crit of a critical hit when using a fire attack. I mean, that just replaces your. the reason to use, use your Magatsuhi, but okay.、Um, while active, allies with a lower affinity for fire skills than yourself will have their affinity increased to the same level as. Boss. All that together is just. Oh, you could do some stupid shit. Like, all this combined it, it would. This is what I'm fucking afraid of. <laughs> this is what I'm fucking afraid of. Four Apocalypse didn't give us this much, you know. Brokenness. Like, you can, like, if, think about it. If something was really weak to fire, if you went, if you came across a boss that was, had a fire weakness, and you brought something along the lines of this team, bro, you eating good. You were eating good. Like, I'm, I'm concerned for the regular playthrough, 
But I want to go back to that last thing they said uh, about the new game plus. It, this might be worth it for that. Using Plank of Norn, a skill which does not consume a turn icon to swap allies. In okay. In combination with a skill that activates when an ally is summoned from the stock means no turn icons will be lost during that turn. So basically, you can switch out demons and not use up half a turn icon. You just don't use it. I feel like they're giving this. There's a reason they're giving us the shit. Like a lot of people are going to complain like and it's it's a it's a it's a. I'll say this with Hashino games. And I know this isn't a Hashino game, but with Hashino games, there is a worry that you do too much quality of life. And at a first glance, it seems like there's a lot of quality of life that just makes you completely broken. There's a lot of quality of life that makes you completely fucking broken. But they counteracted this. And we'll talk about that in, the, in a minute. Utilizes your skills in com combination to accelerate the accumulation of Magatsuhi. With miracles that can reduce consumption and increase the amount added to the gauge. Perhaps it's even possible to use Magatsuhi skills every turn? Bro, you just keep on, either you keep on critting, you, you keep on using, using Shield of God. Um, yeah. See, the, shit like this seems too broken. Let it go on. Unique skill in Activate Bishtar's Magatsui skill to significantly increase your attack if your allies have already performed an action eight times before your turn. I think that's kind of a nod to, like, that's a, I think that's a nod to um, original SMT5 Ishtar, where if you didn't take out the things, bitch, you got eight turns. Like, you would not get a turn. You were done. Yeah, the artifacts. Also allows for passing turns and changing party members without costing a turn icon. So this one's kind of based on your longer. Um, while in the active party and allies with the Magatoki effects will have multi-hit attacks, accuracy, and max possible hits increase. Deals heavy damage with Magatsuhi skill that guaranteed the amount of multiple attack hits to the limit. A unique skill that increases the damage and the limit. That'd be a that'd be good on something like um Matador's Andalusia or any like any really you know really good attack that has like a bunch of fucking hits. So, Demon Haunts. Again, this is probably going to be the, one of the most annoying things I'm going to forget to do. Because, like, it can actually give stats or, or abilities or whatnot. I mean, it's going to be one of the most annoying things to do. You, you should probably talk to your demons. Oh, we know they got time for that. Did you remember the? <laughs> yeah, like that's the thing. I'm always gonna be out in the field way too long to kind of even think about it, and then maybe when I take a break, I'll just go back to the haunt and talk to everybody. 
積極的に話しかけてみると良いでしょうさらにここではフリーカメラモードが用意されていますお気に入りの仲間や頼れる人たちの写真に収めてみまこの世界はいつ何時どのような若者が誰も予想できないのですから以上悪魔の裏庭の紹介で<laughs> It's gonna be nuts with free shade. Stop it. We don't talk about third party tools. Even though it's gonna be on PC and we can use third party tools. These are pretty much the same as as in、um, original SMT5. You'd see them, you'd see them on the field. They do some extra bullshit. It, it requires a little bit of extra effort to beat them. Still the same.、Uh, level cap unlock. That's it. As characters new, you just have to beat them. That's just it. They're not just gonna give you Demi Fiend. You gotta beat them. But I kind of wish we got the other messiahs too. Like, they, they're really putting Demi f r e e front and center, but I kind of wish we got like Flynn, Aleph, the hero, Nanashi. Yeah, it'd be some shit if Nanashi showed up just randomly. Like, hey guys, what's up? Yeah, full messiah team would be a full messiah fight would be good. If you just went against all the messiahs and like every demon they had, that would be amazing. But that's, we're talking like, At the most, you would get, at the most you would get like four in a party. So they would probably have to cut off one of them, which would probably be Demi Fiend since they're throwing him front and center. But I don't think we would get it. Consecutive encounters has always been a thing.、Uh, like, I mean, I know it's a feature, but it's always been a thing in, in Mega Ten. Like, you, you could keep going. It could give you like three encounters back to back to back just because they hated you.、Um, Respecking, I guess that's good. Because if you, if you kind of you know, shoot yourself in the foot, you know, stat wise, you can respect it. Yeah. Added a demon that can only be created by fusion accidents. That's one of the newer demons. So you'll have to botch a fusion, which there is an intention, there's usually an intentional way to botch a fusion. So, Shakan. Shakan. Has been added for Canon Inventions with a unique architecture, unlike any other location in DOT, and rotational devices designed to confuse intruders to the sacred space. So, this is probably the Kalpa. This is probably the Kalpa of Vengeance. Because Shekhan is a, a reference to Shekhina. And. We're wondering if that. I don't think we're, we're going to see、uh, Shekinah or Shekinah as they refer to themselves in、uh, Strange Journey. I don't think they're going to appear, but it's just a reference to Shekinah. I don't know how, how they'll include it or Shekinah Glory, but we'll see. Tom, thank you so much for the raid. Algami Husk. I guess this is good because you can get more Algami type essences, which you were kind of fucked if you wanted to go back to another essence, but you, you couldn't get it because you already got it. So I guess this gives you more chances to get Algami type essences that you can go back because they'll respawn. So yeah, I guess. Quality of life. Okay. 
Previously, there were portions of the map which could not be seen until the abscess was destroyed. This has been updated, so now the map will always be viewed in full. That's good. Yeah, like you, like you had to get to the abscess first to see it. Now you can just see the map in general. Good quality of life. Uh, this is nice. It's just my hope that dungeons are better than what they were in SMT Five because they were just, they were kind of eh. the the what one two dungeons that we got yeah it was two um the two dungeons that we got in, in SMT Five were just eh Demon King's Castle was fun I don't know about that. It was, it was more, uh, I just wanted to get through. It was just more I wanted to get through and just get the area out. But this is good. I mean, that's good. That, like, they're showing elevation a little bit more. I mean, you could barely see it, but it's more, it's, yeah, they did a good job of um, expanding on a little bit more to show you which elevation is which. Which is good. I don't think the dungeon map included treasures on it, too. I don't remember. I'll have to go back. It included demons, but I don't think it included treasures. The number of quest navigation demons that will journey alongside the Naha being on to find hidden treasures and other items has been greatly increased from 6 to 17. Does that include Canaan operation or? Hmm. I mean, that just means that there's a lot of places that will get, either get navvies or you'll have a choice of navvy. Because uh, usually you're, your choice in Navi, like your choice in Navi dictated what you were really going for, whether you what like if you were going for specific items or yeah, specific types of items and whatnot. But yeah. This one change right here is fucking goaded. And you know why? Y'all remember in SMT5 when you would just be going on, like you would just be rolling, you'd really be steamrolling through an area and dot. And then your, your, your Navi would just go off, go off to fucking somewhere and then come right back to you. You didn't, didn't even like look like they really left. They just, oh, here's the thing. Oh, never mind. Here's the thing, never mind. And then sometimes they'll be like out of your view. I'm like, bitch, where did you go? And I'll be like 360 in the camera. Bitch, where did you go? Are you behind a rock? Oh, I'm here. Where's the thing? I don't know. That this right here is, is, is a quality of life that's fucking goaded. It's not even the hey, listen. It's just a hey, listen. Never mind. Hey, never mind. See, now I can just go back to it because I have a fucking trail. It, it's goaded. Updated so that even after being detected by an enemy, you can still gain initiative by striking them from behind. Okay. This is for people who bitch about fucking difficulty. Again, it's an option. But I wouldn't bitch about it. I mean, if you really want to turn it off, you can. But there's another reason why I wouldn't turn it off. Subquest ni 
and a destination indication to some subquests, not all. Mitigation on level difference adjustments. The damage adjustments by level difference has changed to be a more moderate compared to the previous version. Bidding on tactics has been made easier to defeat stronger opponents. There's a reason for this. I keep saying that. We'll get to it. Sh shut up, Nabe. There Again, there's a reason for it. And I, kn I knew you were going to be the one of but my oh my god difficulty they made it easier they fucking quality of life the shit out of the game there's a fucking reason auto skill perfect perfect minor but good again any ability any sorting ability that just makes it better. I, I, here's what I honestly feel like. Um, I feel like for an, apoc for an apocalypse had the, in, in terms of fusions, I think this was similar, but it wasn't exactly like for an apocalypse. Like where you could, you could search for affinity. You could search for pretty much damn near anything in terms of the compendium, in terms of fusions, and like here you go, this is this is what you want, right? Yeah, that's actually what I wanted. Thanks. So yeah, a anything with with sorting is good. Change to that gift giving and learning skills, which happen only at normal level up for demons, will now occur via fusion level up as well. I think this is either a miracle or something that you had to have for it. But yeah, now, now it's not, you don't have to have the miracle for it. Change the specifications of Estoma, a skill to avoid enemy encounters. It no longer is affected by the new moon, consumes Magatsuhi instead of MP. Hmm. It can be turned on or off at any time after obtaining it. So it doesn't use MP. It's it's a Magatsui. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that does ramp up things a little bit. <laughs> that does ramp up shit a little bit. If you get like really annoyed in like one particular area. You're just going to have to fight it out. If you're really trying to hold on to your Magasuhi for like boss battles, you're just going to have to fight it out in like random, like in just regular mob areas. Just fight it out. This shit is fucking goaded. This shit right here is probably one of the things that I didn't think I fucking needed until they showed me it. Yeah, just bird's eye view. Just see everything. Oh man, quality of life so good. Man, rotation. Added recommended level indication to subquest. Yeah, there wasn't any kind of indication of like what you were getting yourself into, was there? You just kind of fucking did it and just. You just gotta try it and see if you could do it. And if you couldn't, you'd come back. So I, I guess that's good. Yeah, yay. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of indifferent to this one. I'm, I'm, I'm of the old school. I'm of the fuck around and find out kind of shit. Like, let me go do this quest. And then get your ass kicked. Let me not go do this quest and come back later. And I'll, 
I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back. <laughs> A new player is going to see the level suggestion for Shiva and look at the quest like. <laughs> exactly. Because now and then when you get to, when you get to, after you beat Vasuki, you can come back and do Shiva. That's the thing. Like, it's just right behind him. So at that point, they'll look at the level and like, well, it depends on what they set for the level suggestion because like Shiva can be done in the 80s. I wouldn't do it, but Shiva can be done in the 80s. Shiva can be done in low 90s. I did it. You don't need to be 99 for Shiva. That like it was it's not necessary. The level up process, which used to take place after battle has been changed in this title so that it takes place immediately after the use of experience items. Okay. Right. Save anywhere. Mm, game too easy. You can save anywhere. What happened to my old? What happened to my old SMT where you you would get killed on the way to a save? See, see, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Casual game, I know. This is the reason why I say all that shit is null and void and everything is okay. New Game Plus feature Godborn. Extreme difficulty metal that is unlocked after fulfilling some certain conditions. When activated, the level of all enemy demons is raised to 150. All them babies shut the fuck up. All the babies shut the fuck up. No. Mm-mm. What you gotta say about that, baby? I gotta play through it first again. Like y'all act like we. This is the first time y'all been on this rodeo. They weren't gonna change that. They weren't gonna change that. All right, like this is the first time you've been on this rodeo, and they, ew, I gotta play through it again. You knew that hat. that was gonna happen for any kind of any kind of challenge mode like this, like your your top tier difficulty. You had to play through it first. Someone on PC will unlock it with you for you with a mod. Yeah, yeah that's then the bay would be happy. Yeah. But yeah, all that all that quality of life that makes shit seem like it's broken doesn't. <laughs> because of this shit right here. Which again, I'm I'm really not thinking that two weeks is enough for this. Y'all motherfuckers gonna hate me, but can y'all delay um Dawn Trail by like a week? One just one more week. Just one more week. Look, I know you took our I know you're already putting the vacation. Damn. I know this is a week before Elden Ring. This is a week before Elden Ring and I'm not even worried about Elden Ring. So I ha literally have two weeks. A week to figure this shit out in, in, in a normal playthrough and then figure out Godborn. See, even Tenchi saying fuck no. <laughs> Okay, we get it. We get it. We get it. Y'all took vacation time off for it. Dawn Trail. I'm, I'm not going to do that to you. A week is enough. Okay. Says the baby. Says the baby who's crying over all this, over, over all this quality of life. 
And then you get this and you're like, yeah, okay. Baby's happy now. Baby's happy now. All the baby rage is happy. But yeah, like, honestly, still looking forward to it. Still, still looking forward to it. I mean, this just cemented a little bit more. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, my mom was already made up. My mom was already made up with, with vengeance. This kind of just cemented it a little bit more for me. Quality of life is good. You just don't like the game getting too easy. Well, that's why they gave you Godborn. Have fun. Have fun with the level 150 demons. They gave you all those broken abilities just, just so you can deal with 150 demons. But I, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun in, in a normal setting, in a casual setting, and I think it's going to be fun on Godborn because that's what it's all about. Yeah, because um, honestly, I'm not too worried about the story because I, I think vengeance vengeance is what the story should like they said that's what the story should have been and they weren't able to do that in um canon of creation or regular snc vibe so i'm confident that the story will be good like there's so much there's so much in, in my mind that i think would happen in the story i i kind of just want to wait but i might make a video about it. I don't know. But for the other tubs, what do y'all think? What do you think of all the quality of life? Are you a fan of it? Or are you baby raging that it's going to be too easy, even with Godborn? What are your thoughts? Even in the comments below. I think this is honestly our, our last little leg of information before release. So all we're waiting on is the game at this point. So. Are you excited? Are you hype? Are you? How you feeling? How you feeling out there? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. We'll probably have more about metaphor in the coming weeks or in the coming months and whatnot. Um, yeah. So look forward to that. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.